the photography world is abuzz with rumors about Canon's upcoming EOS RS mirrorless camera. Building upon the success of its predecessor, the EOS R7, the RS is expected to elevate video capabilities while addressing the overheating issues that plagued the previous model. But will Canon be able to deliver on the heightened expectations? The rumor mill surrounding Canon's upcoming EOS RS mirrorless camera is spinning at full speed, with reports suggesting a significant resolution bump to a staggering 60 megapixels. However, not all sources agree, as some insiders claim the camera might retain the 45 megapixel sensor of its predecessor, the EOS R7. Whichever resolution Canon opts for, users can expect enhanced cropping capabilities if the ultra high frame rate rumors prove accurate. The true showstopper, if the leaks are to be believed, would be the EOS RS's purported video recording prowess. Anonymous sources suggest that the camera could be capable of capturing 8K footage at an unprecedented 60 frames per second, doubling the original R7's limit of 29.97 frames per second. Such a leap in ultra-high resolution capture speed could open up a world of new creative possibilities for slow motion and high frame rate editing in the mirrorless realm allowing videographers to capture minute details with incredible clarity. However, such performance gains are not without their trade-offs. The R7 already produces a staggering 2600 megabits per second of 8K raw footage at 30 frames per second, and a doubling of that frame rate would likely result in file sizes of truly epic proportions. Managing and processing such massive files could prove to be a significant challenge even for professional workflows equipped with top-of-the-line storage and computing resources. To enable these blistering frame rates, Canon might have to employ heavily cropped recording modes, a technique that sacrifices a portion of the sensor's full field of view to create a, zoomed-in, final image. While cropping could be a viable solution for certain shooting scenarios, such as wildlife or sports photography, it may not be ideal for those who require the full breadth of the sensor's coverage, such as landscape or architectural photographers. Even with cropping in play, the EOS RS would likely require a dramatically overhauled heat dissipation system to avoid a repeat of the overheating issues that plagued its predecessor. The original R7 gained notoriety for its tendency to overheat during extended periods of high-resolution video recording, forcing users to halt their shoots and wait for the camera to cool down, a frustrating limitation for professional videographers. To overcome these thermal challenges while delivering on the promise of smooth, high-resolution, high-frame rate video without sacrificing image quality or recording times, Canon's engineering team would need to pull off a groundbreaking feat of thermal management and heat dissipation. Furthermore, the rumor mill suggests that Canon might be aiming to launch the EOS RS as early as February 2024, potentially coinciding with the development timeline for the company's highly anticipated flagship EOS camera, which is also slated for a 2024 release. However, it's crucial to take these rumored launch timelines with a grain of salt until official confirmation from Canon itself. While the rumored specifications for the EOS RS's video capabilities are undeniably impressive on paper, pushing the boundaries of what's currently possible in the mirrorless video realm, it's crucial to wait for official confirmation and independent testing before drawing any conclusions. Can Canon truly deliver on the promise of class-leading mirrorless video performance while addressing the shortcomings of the previous generation? Only time will tell if the company has managed to overcome the technical hurdles and meet the lofty expectations of the photography and videography communities. As exciting as the possibilities seem, it's important to maintain measured optimism as we await official word from Canon on what the EOS RS has in store. Let us know your expectations for this camera in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.